Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act 2 with the fabulous Bill Jordan, Mr. Embrace the Boom. Hey, you Bill. did it again. You called me fabulous. You guys are making my life for me. Fabulous. I've yeah, never well, been we, described we, we the words before. Have, we have the list you sent us, and we're Thank down you. to fabulous, and there's still 17 other superlatives that you've sent us. I love that. Fabulous. All right. So let me ask you a question, Bill. Um, when you talk about baby boomers, uh, so are boomers the only babies that you know anything about? Oh, oh no, I, I, I know a lot about babies. I've got three grandkids and, um, you know, each one's different. I've got a 14 year old grandson. I've got a, geez, I've got a four year old granddaughter and about a six month granddaughter. So did they, they all started as babies, didn't they? They all started as babies. I'm going to take you back even more and more because when we found out when we were pregnant, because you have to say we, uh, being pregnant, when my wife was pregnant with our daughter, Jessica, my dad was over at our house and we were doing something, fi fixing something or whatever, and told him that, that, you know, she was expecting. And I remember him looking up at me going, how neat that was. He said, because you get to grow up all over again. And I didn't know what he meant at the time. And now I know exactly what he means in that you grow up, you know, you go through a period of time in your life, maybe when you were a kid and you remember when you thought Wizard of Oz was really something. And quite honestly, and I'm still psychologically scarred by the flying monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still scared of them. But you go through a period, you know, Wizard of Oz is pretty cool. And then you get to be a teenager and Wizard of Oz is kind of dumb. You get to be a parent and all of a sudden Wizard of Oz, you got to have your kids watch the Wizard of Oz. And you watch them with their birthdays and you watch them with Christmas and the Easter Bunny and all these things. And you get to live again that age, like through their eyes. And then once you become a grandparent, you get to do it even again. I yes. cannot explain. I cannot explain to you how cool it is like this past Christmas watching our and she was not yet uh, well, she was three and a half, I guess, at the time watching our, our granddaughter have Christmas and Santa was coming. And I sat up at the top of the stairs with her on, you know, the Christmas morning before Santa. And it was just absolute magic, man. It was just magic. They're the best. They're the best. They keep us young. Yeah. And babies, there's, they smell good. Every single oh. baby I've ever met smells good Obviously, and it's you, not the baby smell they got that new baby you, smell they come with never, oh my gosh uh john you've never changed a diaper okay they, <laughs> oh. <laughs> i don't think that that's something that you don't do as as your grandfatherly activities or is it i've changed plenty of diapers but i'm talking yeah. about the natural baby oh, smell yeah that, that yes. smell yes yeah yeah absolutely man that's why they're absolutely. so kissable so, oh What's what's the best thing from the first time you were a grandparent, okay, uh, that first knowing that uh, your line was going on and that you had this little human being around that wasn't your primary responsibility that you had something to do with? What was the first thought of the first time you saw a grandchild, your grandchild? Um, I, I think the first sensation was really, and I tell people this now, my younger friends who have kids, but they, they're not grandparents yet. They may have, you know, teenagers or something like that. There is nothing, and, and, and you know, John, correct me if I'm wrong, or you have a different opinion, of course. There is nothing like holding your child's child. Nothing. And hoping that you leave some kind of legacy. I didn't really know. I knew one grandmother, uh, my mom's mom, and she was uh, ill for the most part of when she was alive that I knew her. So I didn't have a relationship with like with a grandfather or another grandmother where you went out and did stuff and went fishing and spent summers with them. I didn't have any of that. So I try very hard to be a granddad or a poppy, as I am referenced, uh, that my grandkids can remember and I hopefully remember in a positive way. Yeah, you know, that's, I think that's uh, 
not quite unique, but it is uh, it is part of our generation, the baby boomer generation, that because we're living longer, we're living much longer, and we're healthier to a much older age than our parents were, we have the opportunity to be active grandparents to our grandchildren, uh, because I had the same experience you do. I had all my grand uncles and grand aunts were truly elderly by the time I knew right. them, and they were all dead by the time I was 10. Um, but here I've got a 20-year-old uh, grandchild. I'm watching them uh, grow up through every age, and I'm hoping to, as I told my grand oldest granddaughter, I'm hoping to dance at her wedding. Yeah. You know? So yep. it's something my grandparents never had the opportunity, couldn't even contemplate. Yeah, having that, that, that goes through your mind. I mean, I, you know, I've actually prayed, you know, God, let me see them start a career. What are they going to be if yes. they get married and hope they choose the right, you know, get with the right person uh, to, to live that life. I will tell you this, though. I mean, having a grandchild at 50 uh, or, you know, a little over you know, 52, 53 and having another one when you're 66, you view them a little differently because, when you're 52 and you have one, you do see that easily. You're going to see them grow up and have a career. I mean, you think anyway. You, you never know. But when you, you have a brand new one at 66, you're like, hmm, am I going to be even allowed enough time left that they're going to even remember me? You just you view it a little differently along yeah. your timeline. It's just uh, it's a little more poignant feeling. Well, yeah. what's really, what's really, I, love, I, love being, I love being a poppy. I love messing with them, and they know that I'm messing with them. Ah, love it. What's really nice, and uh, uh, John has alluded to it, is that we, we were in the earlier part of the baby boomers, uh, so we've been through some of this. We're fortunate to have uh, uh, grandchildren ourselves, and um, I've got uh, a, a grandchild who's in her late 20s and another one who's around 20, and then we have uh, a six- and eight-year-old. And uh, the interesting thing is that uh, as much enjoyment as you're having now, you're going to continue to have fun because uh, I remember actually giving driving lessons to one of my grandkids uh, and uh, uh, having catches with them and all those kinds of things. But then watching them grow into young adults and uh, getting a degree and perhaps a, a, an advanced degree, uh, getting an EMT license and helping people currently now in an emergency room or in careers. And then when somebody moves, they just volunteer to come over and help family move and things like that. So it's kind of fun to watch them grow up to be young adults. And if you're fortunate, they'll grow up to be uh, uh, really nice people and uh, yep. so enjoy every step of the way. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, to have to have kids and grandkids that you love to be around and they seem to love to be around you. Mm -hmm. That is that that is a true gift, my friend. That's, yep. that's a, what we call a blessing. Absolutely. We don't necessarily deserve it, but God, we enjoy it. Oh, that's come on, it. John, we do. We deserve it. Oh, we that's it. We, we do. Well, I mean, well, I think this is one of those things in talking about that. This is one of those things when people complain about getting older. Let me clue you in. You ain't going to have grandkids if you don't get older. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm I'm serious. People they don't want to get old. It's like, man, you know, there's pros and cons to it. Yeah, as we've talked about before, you know, you know, your right knee worked last night when you went to bed. You get up this morning, it ain't quite, you know, in sync with the rest of your body. But but when you get grandkids or successful children in your life, and they want to be around you, and their friends are your friends, it is as you say, John. It is uh, it is a true blessing. So. Don't again. Don't regret go, growing older, man. There's good stuff that comes along with it. There is. Well, here's here's the babies. There we go. And embracing the boom. Here, Appreciate here. you guys having me back on. Live your life. Forget your age and embrace the boom. Yes. See you Thanks soon, you, Bill. Thank you. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.